Hey everybody, it's Patrice with Trini Boutique. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm out here in my garage and I am working on doormats. And so I want to show you guys how I created this doormat. So before we get into it, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me at all my links listed down below. All supplies that I use in this video, I will put a link down below. Um, let's get into it. So here we are um, with the box frame um, last name doormat. For this doormat, of course, you're gonna need your stencil and you're gonna need your transfer tape. All links for the supplies that I use in this video will be listed down below. And then you need your flex seal, of course, and after we do the flex seal, I did not mention in my last video, I do seal my mats with this. So I generally will spray it after I remove the, um, sometimes before, it just depends on if I remember before or after, but I will spray this on the letter portion of the mat. And then I just have my tape measure just so I can measure and make sure that this design is straight. So let's get on into it. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is add my box that goes around the outer part. And I try to get the box closer to the outer portion of the mat. I normally try to leave maybe a half an inch on each side. That's perfect. Uh-oh. And I will have to, of course, measure it once I pull my tape off, but I just go ahead and measure ahead of time just so I can get an idea of where I want it to be. And then, once I kind of get the boxes lined up, I like to go in with D and Home in their spots. So I can make sure that the, the words will fit before I spray, before I paint the box. All right. So let's go ahead and remove the backing and we'll get started. All right, so I am back and I have my box in place. Um, I've measured and the outer edge is half an inch um, be sure that you measure straight across and be um, make sure that your boxes line up everything's good we're gonna start you definitely want to put your mask on now and you definitely want to put some gloves on because your hands will get nasty all right so I got my gloves on I've already been painting it so and I've got my face covered and we're ready. So I generally will save these little scrap pieces from like other sheets of vinyl that I've done a door, another doormat with because they, they go good to kind of line up the outer edges of your mat so that you don't get um, the flex seal on the outer edge. All right. So we're going to start on this side. And we're going to peel this joker up. There's our box. All 
right, so next we're going to put on D and home. So y'all, I am back and I have my name put on my mat. Um, I measured my name about three inches from the outside of the mat. So I'm gonna put my gloves back on and we can spray the name with our Flex Seal. And then we're going to seal the name with our um, our finish, our UV resistant clear gloss finish. Mask on. got that on um, you do want to make sure that when you're using this flex seal and this uh, sealant you want to be sure that you're in a well ventilated area because these chemicals are really strong and you know that's why you definitely make sh definitely want to make sure you wear a mask and you have on gloves so this is the finished look and I'm loving it I hope my customer loves it as well um, if this video helped you, be sure to give me a good thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn your notifications on so that you get all of the notifications each time that I post. Until next time, peace and love you guys.